I often get asked which is the best NVIDIA driver in terms of average FPS, 1% lows, just the best driver in general. And I can tell you one thing, it definitely isn't the two latest drivers, 531.18 or 528.49. Those two latest drivers are hot trash. If you want my recommendation, um, it's either 528.24 or even better still, 528.02. It's been the driver that I've been recommending for the longest time. Um, it doesn't perform so well on Forza Horizon games, but everything else performs on pretty, pretty well. So in today's video, I'll be comparing 528 versus 531.18 and just showing you exactly why I don't recommend the latest driver. So all my games are tested at medium settings where FSR 2.0 or 2.1 was available, I used the quality setting. So for the latest driver, I benchmarked nine games, added up all the average FPSs of the games, and then I divided that by nine and it gave me an average FPS per game total. So in terms of average FPS, the latest driver is pretty stock standard. It performs much the same as all the best drivers. Average FPS is not a problem yet. Where the problem lies is once I take all the 1% low figures, add them up, divide them by nine, and then my average 1% low um, for 531 5.18 is well below the average that I've been getting for the last couple of drivers that I've been testing. So what I do is I add up all the 1% lows, divide it by nine, get the average 1% 1, 1 low, add up all the average FPSs, divide them by nine, get the average, average FPS per game, right? So then I divide the average 1% low by the average average FPS per game and then that gives me a stability reading. My stability reading for 53 or 531.18 is a very low 65.4% which is shocking. So it's quite a stuttery drive. And then you go to my recommended driver which is 528.02 Yet, yet again, I added up all the average FPSs, divided by nine, got to an average, average FPS per game of 68.91, which is roughly the same as uh, the above driver, 531.18. But if it was based on average FPS, these driver videos would be much shorter. But what we're trying to work out is what's the best ratio between the 1% lows and the average FPS. So where 528.02 really shines is when you divide the average 1% lows by the average FPS. And the average 1% lows on this driver are phenomenal. And that's why this driver is so good. When I divide the average 1% lows by the average FPS, it gives me a stability percentage or ratio of 77.14, which you can see is miles ahead of the 65.40 percentage. So guys, that is why I highly recommend, it's not the latest driver, it came out in January, but the best driver to date is still 528.02. If you want a slightly newer driver, the driver that they released um, a couple of weeks after, 528.24 is pretty decent as well. I think the stability there was 76 as opposed to 77, so it's pretty decent. But guys, I really don't recommend 531.18 or 528.49. Those two latest drivers, they're optimized for RTX cards, GTX cards, don't perform well on them. So my best driver, 528.02 or 528.24. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed and you have watched the video this far, now is the time to do so. Other than that, have a fantastic day. It's people like you. Cheers.